Hey, this is Tosh from ps3blog.net. Just going to show you how to restore the file system. Um, first thing you want to do is hold the power button until it turns off again. Okay, and this time you're going to keep holding it, but you're going to let go when you hear two quick beeps. And this works with any PS3, whether it's a fat, slim, super slim, etc. Okay, so this is going to access the recovery menu or safe menu. I'd just call it the recovery menu, but... Um, the one you want to do is restore file system. I have another video about rebuild database, which I will link to below. And so I'm going to go through restore file system. Um, this would be good if you're having any issues with your PS3. Um, first thing I would probably do is this one. But if you're still having issues, I would do this. This is basically the file system. Think of it as the operating system of the PS3. So this just checks for any corrupt files, like if maybe your PS3 got shut off, like the power went out or the power cable got kicked out of the wall, you know, things like that. Or if a game, whatever, got buggy and the system shut off, it may have corrupted a file, etc. So this is what you'd want to try to, if you're having issue. Some people have issues with their Blu-ray drive working and this fixes it. So there's lots of reasons why you want to do this. This doesn't delete any game saves or game data. This is the pretty much operating system on the PS3. So it's going to walk you through. So are you sure you want to restore the file system? Yes. It's just rebooting here. File system on the system storage is corrupted and will be restored. So it's just, it's not telling you that it's corrupted, it's just checking for any corrupt files. And this happens pretty quickly, so I'll just let us do this thing. So let us know if this fixes any of your issues or what kind of issues um, it fixed when it when you did this. Uh, if you have any other questions, you know, let let us know. Um, you know, sometimes when the power goes out prematurely for some reason, sometimes when you turn on your PS3, it will go through this um, process on its own. It'll ask you to go through it, so it's it would be wise to do that because there might be a a file that got corrupted when the power got shut off prematurely. So as you can see, it doesn't, it just takes a few minutes to complete, so not bad at all. Now once it's done, it's just going to reboot and then that's it. So let us know if this video has been helpful for you. Um, again, this is Toss from ps3blog.net.
I'll see you online.